Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe. Today we're going to be making some almond flour with buttermilk pancakes. This recipe comes to you from Keto Mond. K-E-T-O-M-O-N-D. I'll have her link below the uh, recipe over here. And so anyways, these came out really great. It's the first time I ever made anything with buttermilk. This recipe called for three large eggs, room temperature, a half a cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one and a half cups of almond flour, and a half a tablespoon of baking soda. And then we put just a tiny little bit of vanilla extract just to change it up a little bit. Now, and when I'm looking at the video over here, it came out really, really great. And uh, I used a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup that I have on hand. And again, I have to use what I had. And then what I'm going to do is I ended up sending out for some of that uh, great uh, flavor from Chalk Zero, which is really my preferred choice now for maple syrup. I just haven't had anything in the house lately, and I'm having a hard time getting some products. But uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, go over there, check out her channel, Keto Mon, and she's a very great YouTuber and uh, large supporter followers. So without further ado, let's go right into the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now that we got all the uh, ingredients is all measured out and set aside, why don't we just go ahead and uh, stir the uh, dry ingredients and incorporate that before we start adding the wet. And it doesn't matter on the wet ingredients is what order you uh, add it in. Like now I'm doing the eggs, I'm just taking them and whisking them up a little bit first before I add it into my batter. And uh, over here I have the uh, two tablespoons of melted butter, I'm just kind of like stirring it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add the eggs into the uh, almond flour batter and then I'm going to add the butter and then the buttermilk and uh, the apple cider vinegar and to, oh, not necessarily in that order but again I just once I get it all inside the bowl or mixing bowl I'm going to be using the spatula and get it really well incorporated and this batter came out very very it was a very very thick batter and then I added a little bit of a vanilla extract because I just wanted that little uh, extra added flavor and this batch came out really really good it was really really thick it wasn't a thin batch like in some of the batches I had made in the past you could at this point add some blueberries or strawberries in here or maybe some chocolate chips or whatever your favorite um, you know filler in for any raspberries or anything like that nature that a low carb weight loss just be mindful that the uh, it, you know anything that you use adds a little more calories and then I'm just now I'm just adding in a little more vanilla extract well I didn't add it to the original I wanted to make sure I had it in now I get the uh, grill going and uh, a little bit of uh, cook and spray and then I want to just take a one-third of a cup of measuring cup and scoop a little bit of batter out on it on uh, Just like I'm doing over here. That's a one-third cup of a measuring cup And I'm just trying to even out the uh, pancake batter the best I can to make it some type of a pancake shape And then uh, I'll let it sit on the pancake grill for a couple of minutes and I got my pancake grill at 350 degrees and now I'm just uh, again these pancakes came out really, really good. If you just follow me along in the next set process, they'll come back and talk about it from this point on. We'll just have the music going. And just follow me along. You guys are doing fine.
Uh, pancakes are done. Now we got time to give it a old taste test. Now, this is the first time that I ever cooked anything with butter and milk, and uh, to my surprise, it came out really fantastic. I can't wait to start using some more recipes using buttermilk. But anyhow, what I'm doing right here is uh, I'm just taking three pancakes, putting a nice slab of butter on there, and some of my uh, favorite maple syrup. Now, this is sugar free, but it's not the kind of syrup that I really would get. But uh, that's what, what I had on hand, that's what I'm using. So, again, at the end of the day, you do you. And uh, there, you have our there you have our final product there. Doesn't these look really good? Now these batter made uh, six large pancakes and I, uh, they kind of like uh, had no problems flipping them. Uh, the first time I flipped the first three, uh, it was a little bit of wet there on the bottom, but they cooked up pretty fast. These, they came out really, really thick, uh, you know, uh, uh, thickness. And uh, look at that, doesn't it look really good? And they, and they really were great, by the way. And uh, you know, again, go over there and uh, support uh, Keto Mon. She's a good YouTuber, a great YouTuber. And uh, again, I give it a thumbs up. And uh, there you have our final product. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And be watching for some more amazing recipes. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, pancakes aren't just for breakfast anymore. And these freeze really well, by the way. You can freeze them up to two or three months, you know. Put them in one of those uh, Ziploc bags and make them up ahead of time. And then you'll be good to go. And again, you can have fold in your favorite fruit. I just wanted them plain today for a change. So with, uh, without further ado, I guess I'll leave you guys. Don't forget to be watching for more recipes. And thank you for watching.